Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some spring DIYs and this is a ton of different ways that you can make some inexpensive decor on a, a budget. I do want to thank Creative Fabrica for sponsoring today's video. I never knew about this website until recently and I am so excited that I did. So I'm going to share with you guys ways that you can get some good use out of this website. Also, they did give me a coupon code so you guys will get one month free of their all access subscription and I will tell you guys a little bit about that in a second, but let's get into the video. So this is what Creative Fabrica's website looks like. As soon as it comes up, you will have recommendations for you. What I really like about it is you ha will have access to millions of graphics, fonts, classes, and more. I really love the bundles because you can download a ton of different graphics and a ton of different uh, SVGs, etc. cetera, uh, with the bundles, which is really nice. I downloaded a couple you will see in just a second. Um, but I like that there's just a ton of things that you can look at. You can also search, of course, I'm going to be searching for farmhouse, of course, but there's like home crafts, backgrounds, you can do, you can like print out scrapbook paper, like the possibilities are absolutely endless. Uh, so I will have a link in the description box below so you guys can get one month free of their all access subscription. Uh, but you can start saving if you sign up yearly. For their plan, it is $4.99 a month and it's billed at $59.88 a year and it's 50% off more affordable. Uh, otherwise, you'd pay $9 a month. So I think that's great when you're subscribing to the all access. Plus you have personal and commercial and full POD use of files included. So if you are a crafter or an Etsy store owner, uh, you'll be able to use any of their graphics with no penalties, no nothing. Uh, and you can cancel at any time and there's no questions asked. So this is the first bundle that I downloaded, an Easter watercolor clip art mega bundle. I downloaded a ton of different watercolor files. And I think what I'm going to do eventually is print some off. They had a ton of really cute Highland cows as well, but we're talking Easter right now. So let's get into that. So I printed off two different uh, graphics from that bundle here. So we have these cute little chickens. I grabbed a egg decor piece. This is from Dollar Tree and I was obviously going to do something else with it, but I decided to flip it over and not throw that egg away because we're going to make something so cute. So if you are not into crickets or stencils, you can just use your regular old printer and print off these really cute watercolor pictures. I'm obsessed with watercolor. I think everything watercolor printable, everything is so beautiful and so pretty. So I just cut that little chicken piece of paper that I printed out to size of the egg and obviously it was a little bit too small so we're gonna fix it up so if you can't cut perfect like I can't uh, <laughs> this project is gonna be for you so I smooth that all out wait it for dry a little bit and then I am gonna be using some rope that is from Dollar Tree so we're just gonna be putting this around the image because well, because I can't cut straight and there was still some areas where you could see the back of that sign, which we did not want. We want this to be cute. We want this to be decorated in our home and we don't want, you know, we can cover up the mistakes easily. So just some hot glue for the rope. end there with the rope but I decided to add some florals now I've had these roses since last year spring these are either from Walmart or Dollar Tree or Dollar General I don't shop at too many places for florals those are I think the only places that I do and I'm just holding them down because they kind of kept falling off but I wanted this to be a big fun group of roses and florals so that's why I go big or go home and then I just cut some eucalyptus down and this is from Walmart I love these little eucalyptus leaves. I think they are so pretty. And I just kind of glued them all around just to, you know, to make it look like it is supposed to be there. But I think this turned out adorable. I love these three little chicks. They are so cute. They are adorable for spring and Easter. So I think this is a really cute piece. And then I just attached some twine to the backside later on to hang it up.
This next DIY, I'll be using a mason jar from Dollar Tree. We're just gonna be taking that apart because we're gonna add this cute little bunny onto this. This was also part of that bundle off of Creative Fabrica. And like I said, there is just so much to choose from. You will be on that website forever. So this video is gonna be some spring. It's gonna be some Easter. It's just gonna be some fun because there was just so many things that I wanted to do. I really want to make shirts and stuff with some of their really cute graphics they have on there. So that's probably gonna be my next thing is making some fun sweatshirts. I'd like to do sublimation. I thought I had sublimation paper and obviously I didn't, but you're gonna see something else that I did later on. It's gonna be so cute. Uh, and then I just wrapped some twine around the top and then just added a cute little burlap bow. And I think this little bow is from I want to say it's from Christmas a hundred years ago, maybe even fall time, but I think this is so cute and you can just get that cute little mason jar from the Dollar Tree and just print out a printable. So of course my love for Cricut definitely runs deep. So finding SVGs was absolutely the funnest thing. And of course, if you guys didn't know already, I love my goats. We have a little goat farm in the backyard. And I say little because we have three goats. So it's not huge, but it it's definitely still a lot of work, but I love them. I love goats and finding goat SVGs, I'm always paying for them. I'm always paying like three or four or $5 and then just for one image. So look at all the images I have to choose from on here. I end up finding this really cute one. The one on the left looks like our rose. The one on the right looks like our blossom. And the one in the middle looks like a goat we used to have. Her name was Zoe. And it just it reminds me of the three of them. I think it's just, I think it's so precious. Uh, I decided to make a wood round with this. So I grabbed this wood round that I had. This is from the Chalk Tour website. And then I'm just taping it off so I can paint the bottom of it. We're just gonna paint the bottom white. Obviously I was like moving my hands around. I talk with my hands a lot, so. That's probably what I was doing. I was probably talking to myself, figuring out, is this as much white I want to paint? Do I want to paint the top? Do I want to paint the bottom? What do I want to do here? I ended up just painting the bottom, and I think it still turned out super cute using Waverly Chalk Paint in white. So once my SVG was cut, weeded, it is good to go now. So I just threw some transfer tape over the top. This is just good old Cricut transfer tape. And I I was so excited to find this. Usually you can find SVGs like this with dogs, which I did also download an SVG like this from the website. It had like a cow, a pig, all of them hanging like this. So if you have different animals, you will be able to find different SVGs for your specific animal. I think that is super cool. So I just laid this down on my white line. Of course, perfection at its finest sometimes. Uh, sometimes I can be in a rush when I craft, but this is gonna go on my front door. So this, this is pretty special. Uh, I might later add on something to the bottom, but I already put my Cricut away, so... Um, you're not going to see that again. But anyways, pulling this off very slowly, there was this was pretty tedious because there is some really small areas, but it was definitely worth it. Crafting is all about changing your mind. So you're going to see I did a ton of bows and burlap and changed my mind. And, you know, I try to make bows. I would just prefer to buy them. That's all I can say. I don't like ribbon. I would prefer just to make them. I was gonna add some hydrangeas. Nope, decided to go with a fun spring summer theme. So I just added a yellow flower to the center of this with some greenery and that greenery did come from Dollar General. And then I'm just adding some little cotton pods to the edge and I think this is so cute. I cannot wait to hang this out for spring and summer. We were supposed to get uh, more snow so I'm definitely going to be waiting, waiting for that to end. did want something 
on top of this. I wanted to say something. I was going to do welcome to our goat farm, uh, but like I said, I didn't want to get my cricket back out. I was sometimes I like I have a love hate relationship with a cricket. Love my cricket. But then when I put everything away, I don't want to get anything back out. That makes sense. So I'm using a Chalk Couture silkscreen transfer. I love this. This says welcome-ish. Uh, I decided just to use that welcome part. And I think this turned out adorable. I can't, like I said, I cannot wait for this. I was just, I'm over the moon, super excited to find a goat SVG that I truly, truly love. That doesn't say crazy goat lady, because trust me, I have plenty of those SVGs. All right, and here is just a quick one. This is the Cricut that I use, the Cricut Maker 3. And then I just grabbed this sign recently from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for $4.49, I think. And then here's another SVG I downloaded off Creative Fabrica. And it says Cottontail Farms, Bunnies, Carrots, Chocolate. I thought this one was cute. I just added it to the center of this sign. And that is all I did for this one. I just wanted this to be super simple. I love the good old black, white, wood type colors or photos or pictures. I think they just look pretty and you can add color to them. I think this is just simple and super pretty. Of course, I could not do a, another watercolor image from the site. So I loved this Highland cow with a flower and it's easy to download. You just push the download button and it goes right to your computer in seconds. I decided to go use this heat transfer paper. This is from Hippo. I'll link in the description box below for you guys. But really all you do, you need a laser jet printer and you just stick that little piece of paper into your printer. It prints out an image for you. You have to make sure that you cut around your image because all you do is lay your image down and iron it right on. Like you don't have to flip it over. You don't have to mirror your images. It's this easy. So I'm cutting really nicely around the edge. I just wanted to show this part because if you do decide to use this transfer paper, you do want to make sure you uh, don't miss this step and just kind of do a circle because you will have a circle image uh, sitting on whatever you decide to iron on. So the cool thing is once this image is cut out, you actually just peel your image away from the backing and lay it flat on whatever you're going to be ironing on. I have this canvas bag here. This was from the Target dollar spot. It's only $3 and I think that's a pretty inexpensive tote bag. I wanted something simple on here. So I'm just doing that cute little Highland cow. Make sure you use the butcher paper that this came with. I messed it up and just used uh, paper. You have to use like a grease proof uh, type paper to go on top of this. I did melt the one that Cricut comes with uh, onto one of these bags. So use the paper that it came with for sure. So I'm just leaving it on there for 30 seconds and then you just peel away that butcher paper and or your grease proof paper. And there you go. You can kind of see some of the white. Uh, it does say use it on dark images or dark transfers, but I like it on the white because you can barely see where you cut it. I think this is super cute. I think my youngest daughter has already called this bag, although I don't know if I really want to share it. I also decided to make this smiley face bag. If you want to see how I made this one, I will have a fun little reel on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will link that description box for you too. So you guys can follow me. It's just Kristen K 305 over there. Uh, I don't usually talk about Instagram, but I do Instagram. Um, this next one, I printed off two of these Highland cows. Yes, I love it that much. I had to do two. I did it with that iron-on transfer paper once again. Peel away from the backing and stick it right in the center. I'm using this tag sign. This sign is from Chalk Couture. I'm sure you can find other tag signs, but I love Chalk Couture anyways. So, might as well use one of their transfers. And you can use, uh, you can transfer this onto wood too. I used a canvas bag using wood for this one. Lift it up. We're going to be making another welcome sign. I know, uh, but you can't have enough of these because I get a little bored. I hate saying the word bored, but I, I do get kind of bored or I get sick of looking at my decor. So I love changing it out all the time. And this is a super inexpensive way to do that. I'm using this 
Chalk Couture silkscreen transfer once again and just doing that welcome. It's just so much easier and I just wanted to do this because it's fun too and it's relaxing and I wanted this sign to look super high end. So here we go. Uh, once I pull that away, of course it needed a little bit more. Honestly, it probably didn't need a ton. I decided to add huge flowers. I think I got these at Walmart last year. These are the last three I had left. So I'm like, you know what? Let's use these. Let's use some of the stuff up. Greenery pieces. These were from Dollar General and I think they were 50% off when I bought them. So they're only a dollar for this large stem. And I'm just pulling off the leaves and just adding them all around the flowers. guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel i would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing also don't forget to check out my link in the description box below if you guys want to download and get creative fabrica's all access subscription for one month use my link for sure and then after that it is just 4.99 a month or build at 59.88 per year that is it for the video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.